Welcome to another contribution for Utopian. Today we will learn how to create a Discord bot that displays the information of a Steemit profile. For this, I have already created the .env file, .gdignore, and a draft of index.js. Let's go to the terminal. Placed in the folder where we have these files, we must initialize npm. We execute npm in it. Let's leave all the spaces empty. Now we install the necessary libraries. We will use discord.js, .emp, steam.js, and moment. As I mentioned earlier, I already have a draft of index.js. I send a call to each of the libraries that I installed previously. I configure the environment. We created a new instance of a Discord client. We define the prefix. We send the basic login information and we give the token to start correctly. We try to connect our bot. I left the call to the token in quotation marks. I correct it. We try again. As you can see, the bot has connected. Let's start then with the program. First, we use the client.on event to listen to the message that are sent in each channel. We will identify if the person sending the message is a bot to omit those comments. We want then when the user enters a message like the following one, the bot shows the profiles of all the users that have been introduced after the info comment. We will then rescue the arguments that the user enters after the command we will cut the prefix and cut through the spaces. We are also going to rescue the command. Let's convert it to lowercase to make the comparison. We will use an if to identify if the user is sending a message with the prefix of the bot and if it is the info command. To identify that profiles have actually been written, we will use the length property of args. If this is not the case, we will notify the user that he must write the steamed user of whom he wants to show their profile. Let's try everything to work correctly. We correct the errors we have had and we run again. As you can see, if you enter the info command without any profile, the bot warns that we must enter the profiles. If you enter a profile at the moment, it does nothing. Let's program the section to display the profile. As we will allow several profiles to be introduced, we will use a for to go through each of the profiles. We will rescue first the name of the profile account. We will use the Steemit API to rescue the account information. We store the information in Steemian underscore info. If Steemian info returns the value undefined, it means that the account is not valid. Therefore, we will notify the user that the account he entered does not exist. Otherwise, we will display the account information. We rescue the information from the profile section that we keep in the Steemian info. This information doesn't always exist, even so the account exists. This happens, for example, in the profiles of apps created with Steam Connect. We use a try to make the error handling 
in case that information does not exist. We we'll rescue the profile image in the variable profile underscore image. We we'll rescue the name of the profile in the variable name. We we'll rescue the information of about in the variable about. We we'll rescue the location in the location variable. In case of receiving an error, we will save the image of the group for which we are creating the bot, since this information cannot be left empty. So that the name does not remain empty, we will use the name of the account. The variables about and location will be left as undefined. It may happen that the profile information does exist, but the user does not have a defined name. In this case, we will also assign to the variable name the name of the account. We have information on the reputation of the profile available, but we must format it in the appropriate format. For this, we will use the steamgs.formatter method. We will also show button power. We are going to show the days that the user takes in Steemit. For this, we will first define the current date. We now rescue the date of creation of the account. Finally, we will calculate the difference between today and the date of creation of the account in days. We are also going to rescue the date of the last vote granted by the account. We will use the subtract method of the moment library to correct the hours since the ones granted by the Steemit API are UTC hours. Finally, we are going to create a rich embed to later deploy all the information in a single message. In order, we will show the username of the person who sent the comment, the name of the person whose profile is being deployed, and the Discord avatar of the person who calls the command. We can also add a thumbnail. For this example, we will use the image of the group for which we are doing the bot. We define the color of the sidebar of the message. We can do it in RBG format. We will add the word profile as a title. As a description, the address of the Steemit account. We will add several fields to show the information we rescued previously. We add the reputation. We add the information about. We add the location. We add the days of creating of the account. We add the information of voting power. In this case, we must divide it by 100 and add the percentage symbol. We add the date of the last vote with a format of year, month, day, hours, and minutes. Finally, we will add the profile image of the account. We send this message on the same channel where the command was executed. We have everything ready. Let's try to run it. We have some errors, so I am going to correct them. We have a parenthesis wrongly placed, some typing errors, some typing errors. And now we should not have problems. We send the command. As you can see, it shows us the requested profile. Let's now try asking for several profiles at once. As you can see, it displays the requested profiles. In case the profile does not exist, it tells us if the profiles 
do not have information, it fills it as indicated. Therefore, everything works correctly. I hope this video has been useful for you. We will see each other next time. See you!